Good morning and welcome to Thursday. Uh, there was a joke this summer that the worst purchase you could have made at the end of the last year was a 2020 planner uh, because any plans you made um, were certainly uh, either affected, changed, uh, canceled, you know, who knows. Although I've, I've found that having at least a calendar to plan uh, to the extent that we can is really important. Um, with the uh, way we're doing worship now, some Sundays are live, some Sundays are pre-recorded. We have to keep a very detailed uh, schedule of, of deadlines for when things are due to Mindy, so she can pull her put her magic together. Um, so on Saturday, I'll be uh, recording the sermon that'll be preached on September 13th. That's in order to get it done while I'm up in the mountains hiking. Uh, and my, my sermon uh, for that Sunday is on Homecoming Sunday. And, you know, talk about mixed feelings. What is homecoming if nobody's coming home? In fact, I would love to have your reflection on that. If you would uh, put it in the chat or send me an email, what, what's, what's Homecoming Sunday going to mean to you if we're not meeting in person or, again, if we're not coming home? Our uh, staff met yesterday to plan out through the end of the year our schedule of live and pre-recorded services, and we had to decide what to do about Christmas Eve. And boy, I've gone back and forth about that. Uh, couldn't, we, couldn't we just have a, a small gathering of people? Couldn't we do, like, multiple services of small numbers of people? Or, you know, it's just, uh, what do you do? And in the end, we realized the, the, the best we could do for our families was to pre-record a service that will be available Christmas Eve morning and can be done... It can be used by families anytime that day, the next day, or anytime after that. And so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, services at 4 o'clock, and you have to tune in at that time. Whatever time it is that your family wants to participate in worship, um, that's when it'll be. But in order to do uh, the Christmas Eve service and the Sunday uh, weekend, uh, that's, uh, we have to have all of our materials done uh, by December 15th. So... Um, be starting to plan ahead. I, I need one of those planners that, that is easily changed. I guess maybe where I can pull out the pages or make sure I use pencil because 2020, uh, nothing is for certain. Uh, but I hope this is certain. I'm grateful for you. I'm hoping you'll have a grateful day, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye.